Hi, it's me again with Corel Gold Tips and Tricks. And if I understand the question right, he wants these purple dots in this line evenly around that item. And this is what I love. I love doing this. First of all, I'd set your, your duplicate distance on zero, zero. We're going to take this item and it is 10 inches. So we're going to set our nudge factor on 12. We're going to make a duplicate of that by hitting the plus key on the keyboard and moving that over. I'm going to left click, right click, and I've got two outlines. Immediately, I can see some problems in your drawing that shouldn't probably be there. They're bad spots. So I'm going to take those away because that could possibly mess us up. There's not some perfect lines on the bottom. Um, just too many nodes. And you could try to delete some of them as long as they don't interfere with the progress. But that's good enough right there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to measure the distance between these two lines. Let me zoom in here. Get the parallel dimension tool and go from the edge. Try to go straight up to the edge. And we have 0.13. I'm going to make the digit go one more time. So we're at 13.2. 0 0.132. I'm going to take that and I'm going to go to object and I'm going to, well, let's see if that's separate. It is not. So I've got to select it all and go up to object and break the five objects apart. I want to get rid of my measurement and I'm going to nudge that. I thought I broke it all apart. Maybe I'm not grabbing it right. Let me try breaking it apart now. Break curve apart. Okay. Now we got this one and we're going to. So this is our outside. And so you can see how rough the nodes are. We need to long, we need to know how long this line is. So we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and check right here. And it is 29.766. I'm going to write that down. 29.766. Now, I'm thinking he want, and I'm going to make a duplicate of that so in case I need it later. These are 1.35. So I'm going to set my nudge factor on 1.35. Remembering the 12, it is 0 0.135, 0 0.135. And I'm going to make a duplicate and nudge it over so those are equally spaced apart. I can figure out what 135 is, but we could double check with the center to center, and we need 0.27. So we take this number, I'm going to get out a calculator, 29.766 divided by 0.27. We need 110 of these dots to make up the spot. We're going to blend them. We already have two, so we need 108. We're going to go blend, grab them. I'm going to go 108, hit apply. I'm going to new path and put it on our path. Blend along full path. And those should be pretty evenly spaced out. They're not perfectly on the corners. Um, because it's, so I would actually try, let's try, um, let's try just a few less. I think I'd figured it out earlier at 106 to, to make it 108. You might have to play around with that anyway. Now they're more like on the corners and, and you could play around, but I think it's close enough, at least for my preference. I'm going to go to break the blend apart and I can grab the line and nudge it down. Now, remembering I changed my nudge factor, so we need to change it back to 12. I'm going to grab our blend and nudge it over. And you know what I did not do? I did not contour the shape. I left that out. So let me back up here to 
Let's go back one more time. That's where I got a one less. <clears throat> I need to contour this line to get a get the middle. I'm going to put it back on 12 so I won't forget. So I need to contour. Remember that was I can't even remember the distance it was now. Between the two, I think it was uh, some of you are probably telling me 1.3. I think it was 1.32 exactly. So I need to. That's I kind of lost track when I was getting rid of that. I need to go here. I need to go to effects and contour, contour to the inside 0.66, which is half of that, and I get that. Go up to object, break the contour apart. Now we can grab that center one, and I'm just going to nudge it down. And you can always tell, you know, if you look, it's 10.36. Uh, this one's 10.5, so you know this is a smaller one. I have, you know what, I'm going to delete those. I'm going to make a duplicate of that, and I will zoom in here in just a second. I'm going to blend those 106 times because we need 108 because this is actually a shorter distance. And then I'm going to put on new path, and I'm going to put on this path, then blend along full path. And they might not be in the corners, but you could play around with that. I've taken enough time in the video. Break the blend apart. Move our box out of the way. And then move our purple circles to there. And that's pretty close to being. They're going to be equally spaced. Um... Uh, you know, this is a little bit harder with the, the corners, you know, if they were straight lines. And, you know, you could play around with this. You know, there's ways that you could you could blend just that line at one time and then blend blend that line and blend this line and get them perfect. And, um, but I think that's pretty good. You know, that corner is perfect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.